What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on. In this video, man, today we have Voice for the People Reacts, okay? A lot of you guys wanted me to react to this video. It's called Pretty Boy Fredo Exposed by DDG. DDG girl Ruby caught cheating. Oh my gosh, why am I not surprised? All right. Before we get into this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend and tell a friend today, ain't your mom, tell your uncle Joe, he's still a ho. Let's get right into this video, man. Let's get so, it. So, DDG posted up a video stating that he is no longer boxing Fredo because according to him, Fredo mentioned his brother who passed away. But if you watch my previous video, Fredo said that he wasn't speaking on DDG's brother in the song. But y'all leave your comments down. Well, he wasn't speaking on D... Well, he spoke on DDG's brother for sure. He brought DDG DDG's brother up. He didn't diss DDG's brother, which I saw a lot of titles that said that Fredo dissed him. I wasn't going to clickbait that motherfucking hard, okay? Because that definitely was not the truth. Fredo did not diss DDG's brother. Fredo dissed DDG for basically knowing who the killer was and not doing shit about it from Fredo's perspective. That's what he said, okay? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel. But DDG is basically saying he's not doing the boxing match anymore. It's just on site. When they see each other, it's on site. That's what DDG said. But he feels like now this should not be an organized boxing match. This should be when I see you, it's on and popping. Okay, which I agree. That's how I felt from the jump. If, if y'all really had the smoke with each other, why set up a boxing match? Okay. Would you set up a boxing match with a motherfucker who you were beefing with in your own city? Probably not. You would probably pull up, shoot the ones, and call it a day. Y'all would hash it out that way. Okay? I could be wrong because a lot of YouTube niggas, okay, they do not pull up. They are not about shit. The best thing we could get probably is a boxing match out of these niggas. Most of the time, that doesn't even happen though. Okay? I don't know one instance where somebody has pulled up on another person YouTuber-wise, especially these bigger YouTubers. But anyway, let's continue. Down below, let me know what y'all thinking on that. But after I posted my video yesterday, DDG got Fredo's second video removed. The video where mm -hmm. Fredo exposed the DM between him and DDG. Basically, what DDG... I did not catch that motherfucking video to react to it because I thought it was going to stay up. But DDG shut that bitch down again, Okay. Fredo shut down two times. Anyway. He was saying in the DM is that he no longer wanted to box him. It's past boxing. It's past this incident ish that he wanted to actually get at him in real life. So Facts. the boxing match is canceled. They're no Facts. longer boxing. But speaking of Fredo, there was a girl on Twitter that claimed she used to date Fredo back. In this is what I'm saying. If y'all are really bout it, bout it. Okay. If Fredo is not scared, DDG says he's not scared. Allow DDG to pull up to where you're at in New York. Okay, drop his location. Y'all meet up without the cameras and y'all hash it out. Do a story time about it later. Okay, or in an hour after the fact. Do a story time about it. All right, fuck it. Go live. You know, if y'all really have that much beef. But I feel like DDG is at the point now to where I'm not pulling up to your hood. I'm not doing none of that. When I see you, I'm going to see you. Point blank, period. And I feel like from jump, that's how it should have been. But I feel like at first DDG didn't take him all the way serious because we all know that Fredo is not right mentally. Okay. I feel like everybody knows that Fredo is just not right mentally upstairs. You know, he's missing a few screws and he has a few extra screws that he shouldn't have, you know, a few nuts and bolts he shouldn't have. So, with that being said, I feel like DDG maybe even felt sorry for the nigga, you know? But at this point, you know, you bring up his brother. It's a very touchy, very touchy subject when you talk about somebody who's close to you, a family member that passed away, a brother that passed away, man. Um, DDG felt like that was too far. And I feel like it was too far, too, you know? But we all know Fredo is disrespectful as fuck and he doesn't give a damn. He's going to use any type of ammo he can get his hands on and he's going to shoot that motherfucker, okay? So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's that.
back in high school. Didn't Jasmine used to date Fredo back in high school? She's claiming that she dated Fredo back in high school and that they broke up because of a man. New shirts, new hoodies from the Conscious Collection. As you guys can see, each shirt hoodie represents a different color, which is a different chakra. Seven chakras in total, man. The Meditate shirt just dropped, y'all. Make sure that y'all go cop before it sells out. Limited time only. So make sure that you take time out your day today to go cop that. Meditate is super important, man. This is symbolizing the first mother freaking chakra. That's why it is red. Okay, stay tuned for the rest of the motherfucking shirts. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, we lit. As she dated Fredo back in high school and that they broke up because of a man. Now, DDG did retweet her message. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Because it's a lot of clout demons out here, all right? Fredo is one of them. Of course he is. However, it's a lot of bitches and niggas who will try to take advantage of a situation and try to report fake news when situations like these are going on. Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about, all right? It's a lot of people who want to come up. <clears throat> it's a lot of people who want to be popping, who want to chase the clout per se, you know? So is this another instance where this female here is just trying to chase some clout? I don't know. Let me rewind, rewind back a little bit. As she dated Fredo back in high school and that they broke up because of a man. Now, DDG did... It says, I dated Alfredo Villa in high school. He left me for a guy. He's not so tough, y'all. We went to Ridge Community High. I don't know, guys. I really don't know. Retweet her message. She said, that makes everything make sense now. I want to hear <laughs> the rest of the story. Check. <laughs> and you already know DDG is the type that's going to run with this information, all right? Even if it's not true, even if she doesn't have any type of proof, DDG is going to try to blow this situation up. And like he said in Dub's video, he's going to try to make 40, 50 bands off of Fredo. And then move on with his life. I don't blame him, okay? That's all really the YouTube game is about. And I knew DDG couldn't stay away from YouTube for too long, man. It's too many chochos on YouTube. It's too much money out here not to make, bro. Yeah, you can be a rapper all you want to be. I mean, all you... You can be a rapper all you want. But how many rappers are now on YouTube to get more chochos, bro? Every rapper nowadays has a YouTube channel. All right, <laughs> Will Smith, YouTube channel. His shit is lit as fuck too. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Of course, it's not sponsored. But look, man, it's where the money at. Anyway, let's continue. Your DM. Now he did DM her and he offered her a hundred. If you read this, it would mean everything. Hey, let me interview you. Where going live to address everything? I don't need to cap. Over the phone, I got a hundred for you. Okay. Dollars for an interview, so he will be interviewing her on his. What he should have asked was, "Do you have any receipts?" She doesn't. But anyway. Channel. But Fredo <laughs> also retweeted her message. He said, "They do anything for clout. Who the f are you? Mm. When the hate don't work, they start telling lies." Mm. Now Fredo said he does not know this girl whatsoever, and, and the picture that she posted up in the high school that she mentioned is all public record. So her mm -hmm. saying that she knew Fredo and that she used to go to school with right. Fredo back don't in the mean day, shit. I don't know. The girl is 24 years old and Fredo is 27. Mm. So I don't know. It, it's not added up to me. Mm. But hey, y'all right. stay tuned for that interview. DDG yeah, posted you never know. interviewing her. He He's going to give her $100. But speaking of DDG, he went to Atlanta over the weekend to spend time with Ruby Rose yes, for her birthday. Did. But as soon as DDG left Atlanta and came back to LA, which is last night, sources are saying that Ruby went out with rapper Asian Doll's ex-boyfriend, King Vaughn. Now, mm. King Vaughn posted up to his Instagram. He said, that dude ain't feeding you, ma. What you want? I got you. And supposedly mm. there were people that noticed them in the restaurant and they tweeted Asian Doll. Somebody said, Asian Doll, leave him for good. He was at Dell. I'm not even going to pretend. Dell Frisco's. With Ruby Rose, you deserve better you ain't f up about nothing his laws That's first crazy. of all del frisco's is not even no high dollar restaurant bro <laughs> ddg can afford del frisco's that's baby shit bro i'm pretty sure they eat at nicer places so but like i always say man ruby rose is just not the type that's ready to settle down not in my eyes bro i mean look at look at how she moves look at how she dresses just look at you know, her aura screams, I am not ready to settle down. I am not a wife. 
At this point in my life, I am not a wife. And that's not shots to Ruby Rose. Like I said, man, she's having her fun. She's in that stage to where she's on, you know, like whatever. She's about whatever. She's going to do whatever. And it's cool. Okay? It's cool. Maybe she'll get to the point in her life, you know, when she gets a little bit older and she's tired of getting her shit wore out by this dude and that dude. Or she's just ready to have something real. Maybe at that point she will settle down and get something real. I don't know. It's not my business, but hey. As soon as you leave Ruby Rose in Atlanta, she's back with effing with Vaughn. So supposedly there was fans that saw Ruby Rose and King Vaughn in a restaurant. And the fact that he posted that picture with that message, it does look suspect. But mm. I don't know. Y'all leave y'all comments. Well, guys, maybe DDG and Ruby Rose are just on some, hey, we fuck around when we fuck around when I'm in your city. But other than that, man, pretty much, hey, we doing us. I don't know. We don't know. Leave me a comment down below and let me know how you guys feel. Y'all already know, man. Y'all need to subscribe to The Voice for the People. Reacts, they are always on the latest news, man. Link will be in the description down below. And hey, YouTube has been very dry lately. So I am happy that we have some type of content, all right, to react to. And you know what I'm saying? To be entertained because at the end of the day, this is all for your entertainment, man. For my entertainment, for your entertainment. We're sharing this entertainment experience together. For entertainment purposes, man. We're going to say what they always say. That's This is for entertainment purposes. All right. Okay, we're going to laugh at your situation because it's for entertainment purposes. All right? <laughs> we out, man. New shirts, new hoodies from the Conscious Collection. As you guys can see, each shirt hoodie represents a different color, which is a different chakra. Seven chakras in total, man. The Meditate shirt just dropped, y'all. Make sure that y'all go cop before it sells out. Limited time only. So make sure that you take time out your day today to go cop that. Meditate is super important, man. This is symbolizing the first mother freaking chakra. That's why it is red. Okay, stay tuned for the rest of the motherfucking shirts. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, we lit.